Right, lads. So last night, Michael Chandler made an appearance on WWE Raw and he called out Conor McGregor. And finally, where's this Where's this Michael Chandler been hiding? Because he's actually quite good on the mic. He's brought out his inner demon. He's finally let rip on Conor McGregor. And I think this is what Conor McGregor needs. He needs someone to antagonise him a bit. He needs that... He needs to either be the villain or loved or, or the protagonist or whatever in the situation to build a storyline, to sell a fight. This is exactly what feeds into Conor McGregor's marketing style. So that that is well played by uh, Michael Chandler. Congratulations. You finally stepped up. The inner demon is coming out. It's great entertainment value. Let's take a look at the clip. Hey, what's up in the home? Straight away, I fucking love it. Bringing the energy. You can see there's a bit of a tone, a bit of a heel tone, a bit of arrogance coming through. Straight away, you can tell just from the first words. Oh, hey, you are now in the presence of the most entertaining UFC fighter on the planet. Okay. And then what I like about that bit is straight away, he sets his value, he sets his worth, and then he starts shaking the finger. No, no, no. Wait, there is more. Hey. Making me wait for way too long, and I still got one dude on my mind. Starts building it up. He don't go straight in with a call out. He teases it. He builds it up. Conor McGregor, get your candy ass back to the octagon. We got some unfinished business, boys. I fucking love it, boys. Michael Chandler coming out on the mic, bringing out that inner demon. Why hasn't he been doing this from the start? Fuck knows why. But yeah, it sells me. It really pumps me up for the for the McGregor fight. And I think it'll goad McGregor and, and build the fight and market it a bit more. And that's what McGregor wants is a back and forward like the Diaz and all the other fights and the Aldo fight. He doesn't want someone who sits there quiet, humble as fuck. So that, that will goad McGregor into wanting the fight a bit more. And the UFC. So moving forward, this is the, the way Chandler needs to market himself. He needs to stop being quiet and humble and, and just go for it and be more outspoken because he's all right. He's not, he's not bad. He, he he did well promoting himself last night. I know Ebb Comer's going to give me some shit for making this video, but fuck you, Ebb Comer. This is the new era of the UFC. And I want to come on to the serious bit now. Right? Since UFC and WWE have formed under the TKO group, um, we're going to see more of these sort of crossovers now and more of the entertainment side being pulled through. The days of standing on business have gone now. So all the Diaz... Khabib stuff. You can see it's being phased out and the UFC don't want it. They want more of this cheese. They want more of this entertainment value and they're going to use the WWE, now the partners under the TKO group, to build fighter profiles and you know really push fighters and let them use that as a platform to call out other fighters and you know bring out that fucking entertainment to a mass media sort of entertainment, family friendly crowd. Whether you love it or rate it, it's happening and we're going to see more crossovers like this. Uh, I don't think it'll be wrestlers coming to the UFC, maybe one or two now and again, but it's going to be more to do with building fighter profiles and getting them onto WWE Raw, SmackDown, main events and things like that. Fuck you, Ebb Coma. Here's to the fighters, the fans and the game. Here's to the blood, sweat and tears and the fame. And here's the as in key, you're ready to go on the brutally honest. MMA show.